Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded! The hour is later than I thought.
see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered... Who, who delivered the coffer said... He said Sid paid him. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood, and send every last one of them to him. Out. Out. Yes, yes, my lord. Why the hell would Sid do something like that? I mean, you think that he wouldn't want to attract... I mean, do something so obviously to antagonize somebody like that. But you think it would be attracting unnecessary attention to his own people. I, I, don't, I don't buy that Sid would have shoved Benedict's head in a freaking box and had it mailed to this giant crazy motherfucker. I, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem like something Sid would do. But anyway, now we have a limit break gauge and we have uh, Ifrit power. So it's another thing in the menu that we can access and put it like ability points to. So what next? We return to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. 